I want to look at this item I just bought recently from Agena Astro Products. It is the Batter 1.25 inch thin focusing ring collar. A parfocalizing ring. And here you see the number. I bought four of these. Each one was $32. So let's take a look at it. It's machined up very nicely. The thumb screws turn very smooth. They're not too loose and they're not tight. They just have an excellent feel to them. Here you see one of the tapped holes. And those are threaded. They're a four millimeter by 0.7 pitch. Here we see a 14 millimeter Delos and the ring goes on there very nice and smooth. No extra slop. And as the name would imply, these rings allow you to use different series of eyepieces that aren't perfocal to each other. If you're using different, say a Delos to a Delight to a Radian, whatever ones you're mixing and matching, it allows you to use these rings as stops so that you can tighten them and set each eyepiece when you put it in the draw tube of the telescope so that is perfocal or in the same plane as the other eyepieces so you don't have to refocus. So here's an example. On my 130 GTX I've got a Max Bright diagonal and I've got the Teleview 17.3 Delos eyepiece in there and in this position it is focused. So let's say you want to put another eyepiece in there and let's say you're looking at a total solar eclipse. So you want to change eyepieces quick. The, eye, the second eyepiece is a totally different design. And you want to ensure that when you put it in there, you don't have to fumble with focusing. So here's your second eyepiece. You want to go from the 17.3 Delos and you want to put in a totally different design, 8 millimeter radian. But you want to be able to put the second eyepiece in and you want them both to be focused at the same spot you don't want to fumble around with focus especially when you have such uh, precious very little time during a total solar eclipse so now we use that batter per focal ring and what I did is I moved it up and down till it was focused and I locked it down in the uh, max bright then I took the ring and brought it down and tightened it down. And in this particular case, it's actually resting on the thumb screws. But I can pull it out, put it back in, rotate it wherever I want, such as this. And it's still focused. Then I can take, pull the 8mm out, put the 17.3 and we're good to go and so that's the beauty of having one of these if you need that batter ring of course you can use this for any type of an event that you don't want to change or maybe you're doing a public star party you're going to have two or three different eyepieces and you don't want anybody to fool with the focus so you're going to put on uh, 
you know, different ones. You can pull one out, put another one in, and it's focused. So there's a lot of different reasons why you'd want to use that.